Grace and peace from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Andrew Henry, and I want to thank you for tuning in. Today's word from the sanctuary was, count the cost. The Lord said in the book of Luke chapter 14, that whosoever doth not bear his cross and follow after me cannot be my disciple. The question is, have you counted the cost? Come join me as we enter into the sanctuary. Let me begin this afternoon's message in your sermon by telling you a story about an American hero. An American hero who lost his life for what he considered his duty as an American citizen. This hero was a popular young man in his lifetime. I know especially of him because he's from uh, my former fraternity, which is football. You notice I said former. For he who the Lord has set free, come on somebody, is free. But he's from my fraternity of pro football. And his name is Pat Tillman. I don't know if you heard the story of Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman was a bright star in the game. One who worked diligently at his craft. A young man who, from Southern California who went to the University of uh, Arizona State and letter in sports letter mean that he was a starter and he did well. And after a stellar career um, at the University of uh, Arizona State University, for all Americans, you can put this university back in front, Arizona State University, he was drafted to the National Football League. And uh, Played in the National Football League for a few years and he earned himself a new contract. And the contract was a substantial amount of money. But then 9 11 happened. And we all know 9 11. When 9 11 happened, Pat Tillman felt the need to do something. Talk to me so And he, Pat Tillman, decided that he was going to defend his country from what was deemed the Taliban. And so Pat Tillman walked away from a new contract, a contract that would pay him $1.7 million a year. He said, I'm walking away from this contract because there is something that is of more value to me. And so Pat Tillman walked away. And of course, now with a great fanfare because the first thing people thought about, how can you walk away from $1.7 million? Well, Pat Tillman said, I'm, I'm going to do something that is right. And so he join the Rangers and the Rangers are uh, uh, subdivision of uh, the United States Army and he joined the Rangers and Pat Tillman trained with the Rangers for a year and then he was off to uh, Iraq and in that journey to Iraq it was, was this is what I came to this is what I left all to do Pat Tillman went and he attacked Iraq. And he was deployed on numerous occasions back to Iraq. But there came a day when the mission changed. And Pat Tillman was reassigned. And he was reassigned to Afghanistan. And Pat Tillman went off to Afghanistan and a few days into his trip to Afghanistan 
something tragic happening. Something exploded. A nuclear, or not a nuclear, but a, a somebody fired at their position, whether it was a tanker or whether it was a scud, or whatever it was, fired at their position, and Pat Tillman was killed. He was not only killed, but he was minced completely obliterated to the point where there's no body really. But the sad thing about it was the attackers were Americans. Mm. Pat Tillman died by friendly fire. But before he died, this young man Weakness, what we all did on 9 11. I don't know where, if, where you were on 9 11, but I know I was uh, still playing the game of football and I woke up to my mom's call saying America is on fire. And I remember being glued to the television that morning, watching and even crying. But this young man, before he died, he witnessed what we all did on September 11, but as opposed to doing what we all did, which was weeping and feeling at a loss. This young man determined in his heart that he had to step up and step out, even if it cost him his life. Pat Tillman counted the cost, yes, and determined that possibly paying the ultimate price was worth it for what he described as the greater good for the greater number of people. Pat Tillman counted his cause. He weighed the option. He said, I might die, but it's worth it. Let me give you some context. He was an atheist, so he didn't believe in God. But he said, what he had to do for his country was worth it. He contemplated and he determined that this principle of uh, utilitarian <coughs> ethics or ethical theory was something that he subscribed to. Hmm? That he had to maximize the overall good. Pat Tillman said, I have to do this for my country. It means something to me. And I'm going to do whatever it takes for the greater good. But somebody said, what does it mean to count the cost, Pastor? And how do I go about doing this? How do I count the cost? This phrase means that one begins to understand how to expediently uh, uh, discern a situation, how to determine the importance and the validity of a situation. This phrase of counting the cost <laughs> speaks to one weighing their options, looking at that which is of value and that which is of no value. Pat Tillman determined that his cause was greater than his life. Amen. <laughs> um, and when one has determined that a said situation is of immoderate importance, such a one grabs a hold of it and never let go. When you have determined that something or said situation is of more value, and in this context we're talking about God, when we have determined that my relationship with God is of more importance, when I weigh the cost, when I see the value of it, I will grab a hold of it. 